Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. Today I'm going to jump in as Isaac because I really need to unlock Tainted Isaac. He has some really, really good unlocks and I want to get him done. And I have a little statue of Tainted Isaac sitting at my desk that I got with my Four Souls um, Requiem expansion. So I feel like I kind of need to get him on board because it's 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 been it's been a long while and like i said yeah some really good unlocks obviously spin down glitched crown his um soul stone is also really really good um and also just playing as isaac you start with a d6 you're not exactly gonna have a super hard time um i'm gonna leave those other hearts there just in case i get like a sack room but i don't even know if i'll be able to play that oh my lord this is a slightly dicey room here um not a big fan of the, the the old webbed fellas, but there you go. And then you you guys I can just bum rush, sit right next to. Um, as for the question of the day today, what's what's your thoughts on the whole AI stuff that's going on at the minute? Because Never Named the other day was telling me about the fact that they've started to make AI that can read your brain. Like they, they, they like gave an AI like MRI scans of what someone was saying, and it got it pretty darn close to right. It was spooky. It was pretty spooky. So, like, what's what's your thoughts on everything? Do you think it's a bad thing? Do you think it's a good thing? What what's your uh, take on it all? We'll definitely re-roll that. Um, do you know what? Actually, I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that I re-rolled that. You know, um, Bob's Brain early game is actually not bad. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there for now, in the hopes that I get another charge. I don't think I will, but just in case, just because that is not a great item. Um, it's not bad by any means, but it's one of those ones where it doesn't really perform very well, mainly because, like, it has to reach, like, it's, it has to reach a wall before it comes back to you, so in big rooms like this, it's just kind of useless, but in smaller rooms, it's pretty good. Smaller rooms, it does a decent job. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we've got, we've got a little bit of speed going here, we're moving around it. It feels like we've got more than one speed right now, I don't know why, but... It's feeling good. I'm feeling good about it. Oh, Lord. Um, ooh, we got a reverse card. I, I genuinely don't know what reverse cards we have unlocked. Um, so I'm going to have a look what this is. It's the Magician. Okay. Um, we did find our secret room as well. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, that is very, very rude. A little annoyed by that. Just pop this, I guess. Oh, it turns us blue as well. I didn't know that. But yeah, we are now one charge of getting our little chub boy uh, re-rolled. Which is kind of sad, because there ain't no other way we can re-roll that. I mean, I suppose there's a really rare chance that the shop is that one shop that has the keeper's heads and the lucky pennies. Um, that would allow us to get a room charge. So I guess we've got to at least check our shop just in case. But we will see. Excuse me, good sir. Could you get that ball out of my face? What's this orb doing? <laughs> I think the magician was really throwing that orb off because it, it just can't get near me. So it's just kind of like, <laughs> it's just kind of like hovering around me. It's like, uh, I'll get to you later. Sorry, orb. I didn't mean to screw you, sir. This guy's taking quite a bit to kill. You stay away, orb. Ah, it's, it's over now. We can't rely on that anymore. Okay, we got him finally. Um, actually, not too bad. I'll take the spicy key as well. Oh, that got rid of the black heart straight away, you fool. Um, damn. Wasn't as I had hoped. Yes, yeah, so I don't think there's any way we're getting our reroll here, which is a little bit upsetting. A little bit upsetting. I guess we just take it at this point. Come on, my little fella. Let's go. Right, I think actually going into the cash room here will yield more health if I come out. Yeah, I yielded half a heart from that, which is fine. It's nothing crazy, but it's fine. Right, let's go. So we are going to try and do the beast here, of course. I'm a little miffed that the game has shown me cancer and won't let me have it. That is a uh, very upsetty spaghetti, like, ugh. Very, very annoying. Uh, but anyways, we go down to the next floor. We'll go, we'll go down for here. We've got the two keys. 
Oh, we actually had a, a beggar in there as well. I've not seen that before. So a lot of those layouts that I don't really know. And then items-wise... We got Proptosis or something gold. I mean, I'd love the gold thing, but Proptosis is just one of my favourite items. So that would actually be, have been pretty good. But Proptosis is just really, really, really good. Three times damage at close range. It, It's very, very good for us. It's going to make our life a lot easier for a little bit. We'll try our best to not get hit here, but I can't make any promises. Um, extra bomb. I'll just blow this up to see if there's a crawl space. you got to check for those, even if it seems a bit pointless and a bit unlikely. Okay, this guy's going to be a rather problematic fella. I kind of need him to blow up all this gas. There you go. Oh, okay. He uh, does a favor there. Open up a secret room for us. We'll heal that up. Oh, hell. I was not expecting a ragman in here. That is a bit surprising. I didn't know that there was a secret room version of this that had a ragman in it, but there you go. It's all good, though. It's all good. We can keep moving on. We can keep moving on. I did something really dumb yesterday. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but I just, like, completely forgot to record an Isaac video. I had the time to do it and everything, and I just didn't. And I'm really baffled as to why or how I did that. Like, I record an Isaac video every single day, and I have done for the last two years. That 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 is something that I do every day. I, like, apart from when, like, days where I literally can't, like, if I'm not home, I try and record at least one, sometimes two, every single day. And yesterday, yeah, I just, I just completely forgot. And it's like, that's not happened before. I don't really know how I managed that, so. Bit of a weird one there. Bit of a weird one. Can't get to either of those sacks. Uh, let's see if we can buy a soul heart before we do our boss to try and keep our devil deal chance alive. I'd like to go angel deal though, to be fair, but let's have a little look, see. We don't, we do have an item I'd very much want, so I'm going to try and grab it. Fortunately, we are currently one penny off, but luckily there's a penny right here. And we'll take that, and yeah, I'll definitely take this. More choices of items is very, very good for us. Unfortunately, we're not going to be getting that soul heart. Uh, so let's just skedaddle, shall we? Secret room. Actually, one minute. Secret room. Uh, I'm guessing maybe here. Nah. Maybe between the item room and the shop, potentially? Hmm. No. Maybe here? There you go. Okay, we do have some extra charges here. We've actually got a full extra battery because we've got a mini battery in our secret room as well, a second secret room. So if our um, if our boss item is truly garbage, we've got a few rerolls to try and make it work. Oh, we got Kakamancer. This is a boss I find particularly difficult to uh, keep my uh, keep my what's it called uh, Devil Deal alive on because, as you can clearly see, he moves quite fast and does a lot of exploding. Luckily, we have a lot of damage, so I'm hoping we're okay, but I'm not going to guarantee it. I mean, that was very close. Okay, we've got to remember as well that when he dies, he does he does a whole little dance. And do you know what? That's decent enough. That's decent enough. It's not great, but it's fine. Shot speed is actually pretty good for us too. And I think we're just going to leave it there. No devil deal for us right now. Um... I'm going to try and hit that angel deal up, especially with the health rom right now. We're not on great HP, I wouldn't say. Oh, okay. We always weird when you walk into your first room and it's just no combat. Okay, remember about these flies being evil. Good. Need to remember I can destroy these trash bags here to get potentially good stuff, such as that. Um, is this red heart able to be picked up for us? It is, okay. Grab that. <laughs> Help protect that angel deal a good amount. Yeah, those trash bags are actually pretty damn good. Give us some hippity hops, some flies, and potential for burn hearts, which is kind of insane. Burn hearts are a rarity that I quite like. Take you out. White fire here. I don't know if we're going to bother using that at all. 
Uh, shop is not really of concern to us at this moment. Okay, again, remember this guy's going to pop out into... Can I not hit you there? Okay, fine. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Literally nothing I could do to stop that, really. <laughs> I was in just a terrible position to take that on. Okay. Okay, so I understand what you guys do now. Oh, shit. I did not see that coming with you. We're trying to keep this burn heart alive. I can't remember if breaking the burn heart, like, um, gets rid of your devil deal or not. But good. I mean, Proptosis plus Polyphemus. I mean, our fire rate's pretty trash, but damage is honking good right now. Holy hell. Oh my god. Look at her face. I don't think I've ever had... Well, I, I must have had it at some point, but not not on, like, not what I remember. I don't think I've had prop plus pot, uh, poly for a really, really long time. Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for there. Thank you much, Lee. Yeah, these items are going to be real good for us. Real damn good. Because there's our mirror room. Yeah, I don't think we need to bother. I'm... I mean, I could try and get the extra boss item, I suppose, um, just because, like, I think I'll be able to kill the boss fairly easily. It just depends on what boss it is, really. I thought it was a tinted rock there. It is not. Right, let's see. It's actually a, a boss that we can handle pretty easily here. Saying that, I did just get hit by him, so... We get our angel deal, we get more damage... Our angel deal is pride pin. Nice. And I think I'll reroll my angel uh, key as well. Pride pin seems to be really common in the angel deal. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to take the risk. I think I'm going to take the risk. I just gotta play it safe. It's a really good run. I realise that, that it's a risk I don't. I just don't need to take. But an extra item is an extra item. I mean, it'll probably be a fucking range up, so I can be all sad about that. Damn. So, and also, I've got to remember, yeah, as well. We got all the rooms between here and the boss to uh, get a bunch of new pickups and stuff. So. Good old bees for me. Oh, also as well. Didn't think about the fact that we get more trash bags here, which is pretty darn useful for some extra stuff. Do you know what? This is actually a, a better idea than I thought, because there's multiple angles to this. Right. Oh, I did not mean to pick up that charge key. I didn't realize it was a charge key until too late. That's fine, though. We got that. And then now we can go to our item room and reroll the key piece to get an extra item as well. Like, this is great. But this is why I said I wanted to kind of keep that charge key around. Remember, these guys can fly. Don't forget that. Good. Taken care of. Why not? Wimpy bro. Why the hell not? That was that was good stuff. That was good stuff. I think that was very worthwhile doing. I think having all those bees and flies and spiders helped us out killing the boss extremely quickly. Keys wise, we're looking real good. Obviously bombs wise, we can't get to the mines. We don't need to go to the mines, so that's fine. Got our bucket of piss there. Step on by the bucket of piss. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Okay. Yeah, let's go. That, yeah, that angel deal was pretty great. I don't know how how well the ancestral uh, projection or whatever the hell it's called. Astral projection. I can't remember the hell, what, the, what the hell the name is. I don't know how well that's going to help us, but every little helps, I suppose. It's not a bad thing. Double reflected pill. Don't know what to think of you guys, but again, our, our bees and stuff that we're generating on occasion are just doing so much damage that it doesn't even matter. 
We are crushing it. Right. This is slightly annoying. I have more options, uh, but my other item didn't spawn because um, because of the crawl space, I think. But anyways, Mom's wig's really good, so I'm just going to take that, especially with the damage we have. Piggy bank is something I'm willing to try re-roll if we uh, need to. So I'll leave that for now. Oh, as well, I didn't even realize we have a holy mantle. I don't know why. Maybe the projection item gave us a holy mantle. I'm not quite so sure. Uh, ooh, rotten heart, yes, please, because it's got we've got protection on it, and two flies a room is honestly kind of absurd with our damage. Lost my holy mantle. Um, that's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Need some bombs, though, to make it really valuable, because then we can just bomb the machines and the beggars that it spawns. <laughs> Secret room's likely to be just up there. Again, need bombs to do that, though. We have nothing. We have... Oh, God. I was very unsure what those enemies did for a hot second there. Still with Fiendfolia, still learning what some enemies do. It's, it's tricky. But yeah, our flies and stuff are just absolutely annihilating right now. I'd be interested to know how many people that, that are watching these videos on a regular basis, how many of you are playing Isaac regularly? I, I, I know I've asked that in the past, but obviously there's new people on the videos all the time. I'd be interested to know, yeah, what um, what your guys' Isaac playing habits are at this point. Because, like, I'm, I'm curious in myself how much I'd play Isaac now if I didn't do YouTube. I'm... Like, I, I always wonder, is is this a game that I would have stopped playing a long time ago had I not done YouTube? Or is it just a game that I'd still play but less? Oh, dude, we have enough damage to just straight up break the hosts. That's awesome. Super useful. Don't know why I decided to kill that thing first. Mistake, mistake, mistake. Remember, we've got to leave a trinket behind, so we have one now, but we've got to leave it behind later. Good, good. We don't need the shop right now. What else we got on this floor? Nothing. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, wait, we do have... Uh, let, let's let's wait until we've done our boss. We do have our p piggy bank reroll if we want to go back and get that. <laughs> I'll take the speed up, and yeah, I think we'll navigate back and reroll piggy bank and see what we get. It's a little bit of a trek, but not to worry. Not to worry. But yeah, I think it's interesting to sort of hear what people's gaming habits are in terms of the games that they watch. Because there's, there's, to be fair, there's a lot of games that I watch on YouTube that I don't play. Or like some that I've never played, but a lot of them it's games that I used to play but don't really play anymore. Um, is that good? Um, enemies can hit each other with their projectiles and start infighting. Oh, did Betrayal get changed? When did Betrayal get updated? I do not remember when that, that must have been ages ago. But I don't think I've picked up Betrayal since it got changed. I do not remember this change at all. Because it used to be uh, charms every enemy in the room on hit, but now it's basically the enemies can hurt each other, which seems... Situational, but pretty good. Like, especially with, like, brimstone-based enemies. That seems really useful. <laughs> Interesting. Right, let's keep it moving. We, we're going to have some beggars and slot machines spawn on this next floor. I don't know how many. Okay. Really good. Uh, we'll keep you around. Um, in fact... Okay. Uh, Rerolls all health and assortment of red hearts and soul hearts and black hearts. Okay, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to pay out in one. I kind of wanted some money, actually, but there you go. Slots and beggars animate faster spawn three pickups when first picking it up. Okay, so we want to pick this up and then get the three pickups and then leave it in an item room, I guess. So pick this up. Get a battery. Okay, so we, we'll, we'll take this to our item room. We'll definitely play out this guy and then kill him. Even though my luck with those guys is horrendous. Good. good. Um, Furton. I think this is pretty good. With Proptosis. Because it just gives us an insane amount of shot speed. Yeah. It's really good with Proptosis. Good. 
good. I will take these. Four bombs is pretty darn useful. Crack that open as well. Right, I'm going to play the confessional a little bit. I don't really play confessionals very often and someone was, was telling me that I ought to. They're trash. <laughs> They're just trash. Someone was like, you need to play them more. They're good. No, they're not. <laughs> you have lied to me, good sir. Oh, god damn. That was a good hit on me. But yeah, you can see now, with the shot speed, we basically get the full damage at any range, which is kind of insane. Look at that knockback on that guy as well. Don't telefrag me. This guy has been known to telefrag, and I hate him for that. Pick up all the red hearts we can where we can. <laughs> I do want to try and play the confessional more. Could I, could I not be getting hit, please? Strength? I don't think it does much for us. Oh my god, this is incredible. Uh, I'll leave the charge key for now in case I need another reroll. Most certainly I will at some point. Weird looking room. Excuse me, don't just eat my tears up. Um, right, secret room could be here. It's not. Damn. <laughs> this is absurd damage right now. What the hell? And the bucket of blood was so useful as well. Oh god, I do not like this. Oh my fuck. This is a really rough room. Don't like that at all. Wow. This is uh, depth one, yes. Yeah, so we can go do our boss. There you go. We'll leave our trinket here as well. I'm going to re-roll that. Little bit disappointed with the result, but that's why we kept the key. Yeah, the, the five cards has the potential to be great, but I would say on average it's not gonna be great. <laughs> right, let's quickly go back here. And we can grab this, grab this heart. I will play out this confessional a little bit more. Give me a soul heart, I think, there. You feel blessed. Sadly, not much. See if this guy pays out with anything other than spiders. He actually gave us an item. What the hell? It's a good item as well. That's, that's like so rare for me that those guys just pay out like that. So goddamn rare. Okay, good. Hold off a little bit. Oh god, I turned the turd into turd. What the hell? I turned the poop into poop. Oop, red heart there for me. Thank you. We got we got some soul hearts from it. It's good enough. It's good enough. Turping for an item or something there. Oh wait, we wanted to get our charge key, didn't we? I think at this point the charge key doesn't Oh no wait, it does matter because we need to reroll our boss item. My bad. A little bit of backtracking here. It's all good. Actually, have zero idea where secret room might be in this case. Really not sure. Right, charge key. Thank you very much. Charge keys are such a good unlock. Very, very useful. I'd say of all the like ver versions of pickups, it probably goes golden bombs, um, then charge keys, and then like luck pennies. Right. Roll this again. Really not much better, but I feel like I'd owe it to myself to try and play out the confessional a little more. Just because. I'm also going to take this. Pair with an item, you sod. Apps. 
absolutely useless. Very annoying. Anyways, we're good to go. Look at our goddamn shot speed. Four shot speed. Four. It is ludicrous, people. It is ludicrous. Our TL like, spawns quite far away from us because of the shot speed. Right. Let's go. We've left our trinket, which is great. We've got another set of, um, what's it called? Machines here. I've actually got one. We can recharge our battery a little bit here. Good, good. Ooh, bunch of chests. Um, we'll crack that open and these two. Okay, lots of hearts here. That's great. I'll open this bad boy up. Ooh, placenta. Not bad, not bad. Grab that key. Health-wise, things are looking decent. I'll play this guy now. Yeah, this, this trinket's kind of insane. Hey, there you go. Joyful, um... Sounds fine, I guess. Oh, bollocks. I lost my burn heart. Oh, does, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I got it back. <laughs> oh, I lost it again. Oh, that double damage for the room, though. Holy hell. We do have the library here. Um, at the minute, we're just going to take... This gives a bomb. Cool. Get Bookworm at least there. That's very nice indeed. We got the stick. Okay, I'll, I'll hold this for now. I don't think this is going to be want to be something that I keep because I'm probably going to lose it. But for right now, I can't remember what these joy pills do actually. Activates the joyful effect instantly. Using three joy pills within ten rooms will apply the addicted pill effect to you until that condition is no longer true. Okay, that's kind of good. Right. Extra key. Extra damage. Plus three damage from one of those right now. Wow. Okay, there's our fool card. There's fruitcake as well. I fucking love fruitcake. Good. Extra bomb. Can we do boss rush at this point? No, we can't. We're a little bit late for that party. Little bit behind the curve there. Another goddamn burn heart. Burn hearts are just coming hot and fast this run. I don't know why. Goddamn 70 damage, baby. Fruitcake doing its thing. I like it. We've got a full card. Good, good. Okay, we'll just take this for now. Unfortunately, we got a devil deal here. I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, I don't think I want either of those. I will take a tears up, actually. I will take a tears up. It's only a small one, but it's something. The full card out of here. Do I... See, this is a... I've got a bit of a dilemma here. Do I keep the magic stick in the hope that I can keep this insane double damage going? Or... Do I take the lever so that I can get these machines, like, every single floor? I'm not sure what's the better idea, to be honest. I think I'm going to try and keep the magic stick and hope for the best. I'm probably going to lose it. But I'm just going to hope for the best and see what we can make work. Right, let's go. Mausoleum is like the most likely time for us to lose it. 
these joyful pills, if they double our damage, then pretty insane. Good, good. Just gotta make sure I don't use too many of them, apparently. Some more HP up there. I'm gonna re-roll that. We just do not need the HP at all. Obviously, we'll check our item room prior to re-rolling that, because that's of less importance. Good, good. Okay. Item room, item room. Oh, where are you? Turn that guy into poop. There you are. I will take Dry Baby in this situation. Dry Baby's decent enough. <laughs> and we'll make our way back. And quickly re-roll our HP up here. And hope for... I don't know what I'm hoping for, really. Fire rate, I think. Shard of Glass is definitely not what I was hoping for in any way, shape, or form. Um, so thanks for that game. Shard of Glass is big old trash. Big old trash. Okay, apparently this was the wrong way. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, got to go through the big room. These guys teleport, remember that. Don't want no fella teleporting onto me. Imagine with this build if we'd have got the cancer trinket. Although I suppose we wouldn't have the double damage trinket at that point, would we? I guess I'll check in here. Um, yeah, not much to get there. Didn't expect there to be homing shots there, but glad I lived. Okay, we are on our way down now. Let us go. Sadly, we're not going to be able to bring a joyful, uh, a joy pill or whatever down to the beast fight. I was hoping we would be able to, but we're not going to be able to just because um, we have to obviously carry our cracked key. Gosh, Dan. Not quite sure what to expect here in terms of other enemies. Okay, it's just a few of you. So many of these joyful pills. Good, good. Ooh, extra soul heart that we don't actually need. Okay. And we ascend. Yeah, I want to try and keep this trinket. There's a probable chance that we won't be able to keep it. But I'll try my best. Uh, gift card... Doesn't really do anything for us either, unfortunately, because we can't carry it far enough. Yeah, as long as we don't get completely screwed over by uh, Fruitcake, we should be able to keep it for a decent amount of time. And there you go, there it is. This is pretty beautiful, I'll be honest. Especially when we can kill guys like that so easily. That They're like the tainted dudes, and annihilated him. Probably right. I think so. I think we're on the right track here. Yes, we are. Good, good. And pr that's one thing that I'm always, like, reasonably good at is navigating the ascent. It's normally somewhat obvious which way is the right way. Emperor doesn't do anything for us, does it? It's the fool that you want on the ascent. Holy shit, we just got a bunch of cards. Two makes is Lust and the Sun. I mean, the Sun we might as well just use now. Just to make sure we go the right way. Otherwise, it's not super helpful. Oh my god, the ability to just turn enemies into shit. Unprecedented. It's very, very good. Right, there you go. <laughs> Downpour is certainly where things could get a little spicy. There is some tainted enemies here that are uh, a little bit difficult. Oh, it was very close. I almost walked directly into that tier. Kind of looked like my little hippity hop guy instantly killed that dude then. Not quite sure what's going on with this room, but there's a lot of enemies spawning. A little bit scared. How did you not die to that godhead aura? What the hell? Okay. 
Downpour 1. This is where I'm really scared. Downpour 1 and, and lower is, is like a lot of tainted enemies. I also got a boss there that spews out some crap. Can't remember what these little eyes do. Don't want to figure out. Okay. On to basement one. Our last stop. Okay, the little ghosties are kind of annoying. This guy is a pain in the ass. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Dude! You dick! <laughs> oh my god, I tried so hard to fucking avoid that little ghosty bitch. Oh, we're so close. I mean, we could have just lost it on Dogma straight away anyways, but I'm just mad. God damn it. God damn it. So frustrating to lose it there of all places. God, you. You evil. Evil thing. Alright, we at least get this open. Ugh, we are not broken hearts though. That's horrible. That's pretty good, right? That's going to be a huge damage up. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm reasonably happy now. <laughs> reasonably happy now. Right, hopefully when we get hit, we trigger the joyful thing at some point and uh, get a bunch of damage anyways. I'm hoping uh, we get a nice few procs from what's it called as well. Fruitcake doing some good stuff for us. That TV is dead. Now, as long as you don't do your spinny spinnies too often, we might have a good time here. There you go. Easy. Takes you to a special death deal. Okay, we can't really use that right now. I'm seeing if that was valuable to us or not, but it's 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 not. Okay. Let's deal with you fellas. Thank you, my driest of baby. Blocking all these shots for me. See, at this point, maybe I do want to get hit so I can get my joyful thing proccing. I don't know. I'm not sure what's best. Oh, my little dude died, though, which means I'm getting a ton of flies, which is great. My little axolotl. The extra damage he can help us put out is pretty insane. Pretty insane. Right, good, good. Dunk those bad boys straight into the fire. Turn them all into poop. All of them into poop. Okay. Come on, hurry up while this electricity's still on. Oh, damn it, you missed it. Okay. Yeah, this isn't too bad at all. We're killing quickly. Got the electricity going again. More of my cursor shot attaching there. Yeah, things are just dying ludicrously fast here. We don't even need the extra double damage. Just imagine, though, if we'd have had double... We'd have had 100 damage right now. That would have been amazing. This guy's the guy I get hit against most. I think with this damage, though, you can destroy the sides pretty easily. Oh, wow, he's dead. Okay. I think that electricity thing getting stuck to him there just insta-killed him. Poor dead axolotl. He's twitching and everything, it's cute. Holy shit, that damage we just did then. This is pretty crazy. This run got nuts very quickly. We almost protected Isaac though, so I'm 
Very happy with the run regardless of how powerful it got, but the fact that it got super uber powerful as well is definitely not a bad thing. Holy shit. The teeth shots are doing so much damage to him, what the hell? Right, there you go. Wow, okay. We got through that run pretty easily. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A fantastic run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.